The string crew of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this mock-up is still in the game. <laughs> I believe I've been down this way. Yes. Let us cut through. I think I got lost around here and was like, PANIC! I need, I need to figure- can, can you go through here? Oh my god, there's so many ways. Right, let's, let's try- try around here first. The game is now paused. Escape menu. For a long time we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realised this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everybody. <laughs> Zending. This screenshot depicts an earlier version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually p cut and merged with another part of the game. Fair enough. Zending model. The Zending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Zending levers. Levers, even. These levers were originally a part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever, and the narrator would describe what colour lever they had pulled. So there's another ending there. Trailers. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one, released in May 2012. God, has it been in the... I didn't realise... I didn't, I didn't see anything to do with this until roughly around the same time that I played the Half-Life 2 mod. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version for the Stanley Parable. Oh, yeah. I've never seen these. Looks like something for a horror game almost. It does, doesn't it? Right then, I believe there was a room to the right over here. Memory serves? Yes. Freedom Ending. This is the very first incarnation of the Freedom Ending in the game's alpha. I thought there was one up there for the Freedom Ending. Um, oh, oh. Damn, this place is huge! Oh wait, I went to the left and there's the- oh, okay, oh, fair enough. Office clock. You see, look, I told you that the time was right. It was about 20 minutes ago, wasn't it? That I started this this run. I told you that it goes through. I wonder if you delay stuff long enough and it gets to 12. I wonder if you get anything for that. Like an achievement? I guess you can find out by looking at the achievement list. That's the only problem with achievements, isn't it? You can just find what they are and then go do them. Not much of an achievement then. But... Boss's office. Screens from development of the boss's office. Yeah, I guess the uh, the one they went with looks more like an office. Remember that green gaudy one? With the um, Night Shark 155 code that I didn't enter. Whoops. Employee lounge. Underground. An early version of the underground portion of the game. They kind of, didn't they kind of use something like that in the Stanley Parable demo though? It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental... They're throwing a surprise party for him, for all his button Mr. Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two, year, uh, two years of development. There are... Sorry, these are clips from the early takes that were not used in the final game. Why's the light there like that? It's hard to hear them. It's like doors or something like that, isn't there? I don't know, like, see, like, weird texture lines and stuff like that, like... It's just, like, whispers and stuff, you can't really hear them. Shame that, it should be in, like, buttons to play them. Right, I think that's the museum explored. I'd be curious to let the clock run for another 20 minutes, but no, I don't think that's a good idea. Might do that at some point though, see what happens. That button nearly shits me up every time. 
Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. You got anything else to say? She's got more patience than um, the main narrator. Go on then. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... <laughs> now, is that what it actually wants me to do, or should I just let it ride? Should I just let it ride? And get the end that way, or... <laughs> we'll put a save there, just for a laugh. Not like it really matters. Hmm. I don't know. Time to <laughs> it did say, like, that escape type mechanic was too confusing for players to actually do. So surely it didn't need that. Surely. <laughs> you you got to do it one way or the other, though, can't you? It's, it's just a black screen. You can't jump. <laughs> At least they got an achievement there from spawning away on jump. <laughs> ah, there's nothing, is there? I wanted to know what a deal was. Just like a third party? Who knows? Begin the game again. Oh, got blue office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open right. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. To the maintenance room. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, it was different again. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. There is a vent. I don't know how you get in there, though. Seems like you can't jump. Yeah, let's try this. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. <laughs> worth a try, worth a try. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My <laughs> mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it <laughs> was to the right? What no wonder I get to know. That is actually quite annoying. It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely... This way. Oh, sweet! Above this room. No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? 
It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. So, all of his co-workers were see, gone. Can't get an ending what that could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm gonna try again. When Stanley, wait, wait. Oh, no what? mind. No, I'm... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote <laughs> the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find Holy the story. shit, man. Um... F first door on the right? Um, oh my god. Oh, I'm s Oh, I'm lost. I'm so fucking lost. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Well, you know. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's even worse okay, now. Yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Back through. Doesn't seem to be any story Aha! here. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way oh. and retrace our it's steps. fucking women now. What the hell is messing shit around? What's this? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognise this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Good job! Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Bollocks! Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> it's funny when the game's telling you it's gonna restart. All right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Stanley Parable line. Adventure Line? Just follow the line. How simple is that? Sweet! Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Wee! What? What? You see? Whoa. The Whoa. line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fear guy. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. 
Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah, light full of music! Cut the music, oh. go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, I got me a sec, studying. Studying this closely. Why is this, like, fern even animated? Like, it's kind of alive. That's not really blowing in the wind or anything like that, is it? Like... Why is that fern alive? ba ba da ba 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 I that That was great. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? What happened with the lines there? That line lies. Overland takes us back to the beginning. What's that? Oh, no. It's the Parable oh, Adventure no, no, line. Not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you. After everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. <laughs> Quite adventure line. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Cool music. We're intelligent to follow. people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, look, okay. that's different. I'm, now, I'm getting fucking confused yes, which end this I've gone to is now. exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? I hope. Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley. I'm ready for it. How does that even work? Look, that's that width. And it's like, you can see around there, like, you know, the four walls that'll be kicked in like that. And then you go around here, and it's like that. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. Hey, what's your What? What happened there? Wait a minute, no. Now I'm back at the adventure line. How did that even how did that even work? I went around it a million times, then I went the other way and I came back out here. Oh, once you do that. Once you leave there. Right, if you go around it once. It'll, like, and now you try to go back, it's gone, in it? Look, it's gone now. But if you wind it enough, it comes back. It's like, what? Maybe we need to keep going around it? Ah. Wait a minute. Oh, it is different, oh, cool. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. 
We should be fine. <laughs> I like the line. It's alright, line. Narrator don't like you, but I do. Like, I can't go up there, line. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I'm such a dick. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight, eight times? times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. He already deviated when he, when he noticed. I guess now this, we just wait. It's you bored, know, yeah. I suppose in some it's not way on the script, that this is, is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Oh, shit. <laughs> this game almost makes me jump more than Silent Hill. Ridiculous, isn't it? Babies and shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait a minute. When other doors are open. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered. This was not the Sorry. correct way to the meeting no, they were open, room. And Stanley open knew it perfectly either. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room. What a room. What a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room. What a room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. The subs weren't right there, were they? And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No, no. No, 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 no. This going into the same thing, so that was the confusion ending. Was that actually like the confusion ending or what? I don't think you could do it. If you go down here, it always leads to the confusion ending. Want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, yep, he needed confusion ending. Fair enough. So what endings aren't done yet. There's. Let's go back to the telephone. I ain't done the telephone. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
It's always weird when you get like an end. Oh no, the doors are always open. It's, when it's just Stanley weird when you get an ending. Of two open, this but it doesn't the roll the credits. The so it only roll the credits on perfectly well. the nice ending. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> it's just okay this time. But eager to get it's back okay. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Where are you getting that vent? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. You need to... ka -ching. I was right, I just take you to the apartments. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about- Your damn boy. Fucking hell. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going That's not on me. Here. It's inching itself towards the door. How was that? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring I press nine there. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly <laughs> what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. What if you don't press the button? Three, two, one. Okie dokie. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner. As he wandered hey, through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. <laughs> and he called it the Stanley Parable. How about those endings? I'll tell him a story about it. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one <laughs> more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? 
In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. It's getting crowded The in longer it. he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Let's do what he says. Well, again, you've probably gone after to it. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what he's taking the piss, isn't it? You've got to do it. <laughs> 